They sucked. <laughs> but apparently, this uh, oh. the new COVID coming out is going. It's it's worse, and it kills huh. children. They say. Like, it's better at it. Or more harmful Good. to the young people. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we have plenty of illegals coming in. We don't need more of our own. Less kids, the better. Ungrateful little shits. <laughs> yeah, those, those south of the border kids, now they know what, what hard work is. <laughs> uh, damn right. And they know how to shut the fuck up and listen, too. MS-13. He's here! Guard the key! Trump fucked him up. Trump put him on the... Trump put uh, MS-13 on the uh, terrorist watch you list. Make me sick. So that, like, basically made it very enticing for authorities to go after him. And it opened up a lot of extra ways to catch him. I can see him. I'd kick my drawers if that was you. And then they do it because they get their name. So they make a career. Gotta do something. They're always looking for something. Terrorism. Hey! Well, don't forget the key! Throw down your weapon! Get the key! Protect the front line! And that's why they start making up shit like if you have a MAGA bumper sticker, you're. But, uh, it's a sign of being an American terrorist. Because they're just, like, trying to widen the definition so they can go after groups. Make a name. I mean, the agents do it for that reason, but the politicians, like, make it happen for political reasons. I'm trying to... I mean, they're literally going after the conservatives. Like was it Obama used uh used the uh, tax wing was the IRS to go after uh the Tea Party. Don't be afraid to ask for help I mean, from I was, like, your friends. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your friends. Your word is the command, my lord. Yeah, they're already talking about uh, lockdowns in these big cities for the new COVID coming. Yes, sir. There, there, buddy. You're gonna be okay. Thanks. I thought I, I mean, was a goner. Like the flu there were too many of them. Like, they were too strong. Their hair, too like, red. Spikes Maybe you can the take the silver key and find the gold key. It's you can succeed where I have failed. Christmas, Free back New Year's prisoners. people are traveling all around the world. So colds and different strains going on in all regions of the world people are you know, transferring at the airports I, I usually get sick after traveling that's most people like I have a cold for a couple days Steven's probably got the new COVID. Listen to him. <laughs> Steven's got everything. I sure hope the gold key is in there. Except the money. The silver key has been all for nothing. <laughs> uh. Eh. Be careful, Julia. Dirty son of a this bitch. This is Matthew's lair. Fucking commie. Like <laughs> I didn't agree to this. It's okay, America won't be a thing for long, at least not how it is now. Don't worry. Hmm.
I'm just kidding. The gold hmm. key. Oh, Trump's about to be president. Putin respects Trump and he knows. He's on a deep shill, deep state shill, just trying to take him out for not for hmm. existing. I mean, for good reason. But if we take Russia out, like we have to take out like eighty percent of like the countries in the world for the same shit we don't like them for, and we'd have to kind of take ourselves out too. If we're gonna hold them up to a higher standard. No, fuck that. I'm personally fine with hypocrisy. <laughs> That's I mean, everybody's enough, a intruder. hypocrite, but. Where's your hall pass? You know, can't let some shit slide. No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah, that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? But some of these, some of the money and aid we get, it's like on the unwritten or written can stipulation that, like, ah! you motherfuckers make sure terrorists don't attack us from your country. Like, keep an eye on your population. Like, they just hate, they, you know? <laughs> Then most of it just gets embezzled. Like, you know, just corruption. But wherever it goes, it's, you know, at day least day. we'll try to do our will. I mean, it, it, they're like freaking vassals. Ah, really, they're just vassals of the country, vassal states. Because if we don't pay them off, then China will pay them off. Your place ah, limitations are at risk. There's a few games like that where... You can you can like buy allegiance. As if because uh, if a country's allegiance is for sale, it's not just for sale to you. So you'd rather have that influence than your enemy. And that's just how it is. I'm just itching to use this referral slip. And it's not like a system that someone created. It's just the way we work. Yes. You can't. You can't change. You can't change that. You're a bad seed. Yeah, that's still a thing. Yeah. That I just mean, like, that's why we give aid money to Pakistan, to, you know, I mean, Turkey, it's like, uh, African countries, we give a lot of aid. Yeah, they're taking Somalia. Yeah, I've heard that too, where they're taking, uh, like, China's moved into Africa. One side, I forget which side, but they are, uh, they're working their way. They're making a battle. They're trying to make a belt across the world. Like, they're working in South America, too. So they'll have, a, like, a southern belt across the world of trade and influence in the China Sea. Yeah, but they don't have the Suez Canal. Like, there's a few key, the Panama Canal, the Suez Canal. Those are, they'd have to make their own canals to be able to compete with those trade routes. Let's see what you've got. Which we would shut them out of those trade routes if there was a war or something like that, like a major aggression. Eventually. Oh. Probably in our lifetime at some point. And it might just be an economic and cyber war. Because, like, if they go, like, to, like, like, kinetic rounds, like, that kind of fighting, this, this is gonna turn into nuclear warfare. Yeah. Really, no one wants that. Because everyone loses. Yeah, it... 
It wouldn't take many nukes. I mean, you get a few nukes, then like a lot of nukes will launch. Like, uh, and then, like that might not kill. That'll kill like probably hundred million, like few hundred million people. But then what's going to kill most people is the uh, how it will shut down world trade and affect communications, shut down trade and the ability to effectively like move our goods because we're a global economy now like a global food economy too a lot of people die from starvation and like losing like just from the heat and from the cold so yeah it's a great deterrent nukes and hopefully everybody respects that deterrent I'd rather it be like a cyber warfare and, and things like that. Don't cost lives, but Damn be an inconvenience. Thanks for busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has a great deal on passport photos. Steve, you ever watch uh, T Supplies videos? He's a he's a YouTuber. He was a a combat engineer in the army. And he uh, does like, he'll cover like war. Uh, like he's been, he did a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> he, did, <clears throat> he did a bunch of coverage with the Israeli Palestinian war. Hey Reggie. Hmm. If you get COVID at your job, can you still get paid time off? Uh. Well, I mean, you can I'd still do that. Get these sick time. I don't think they... that they weren't making these sick time at some point, like at most places. Yeah, like if it was, if you caught COVID, and you were out because of that, you got paid without using your your time off. But uh, I think now it doesn't matter whether it's COVID or something else. Yeah, then everybody, do people are just having COVID <laughs> yeah. for that paid vacation. Like, can you be fired from your job for, like, getting a terminal illness? Uh, it depends. Yeah. Like, like... You would go on like workman's comp or something. Maybe not workman's comp because it's not like an on-the-job injury, but something like. I guess you have to. You actually have to have insurance for that kind of thing. It's probably extra. Yeah, you can get you can get insurance for that. Yeah, if you, it would insurance. be considered long-term disability or not long-term disability, but like long-term something or other. But. Yeah, after like seven, after about seven to 14 days, that would kick in and start paying you rather than using your personal time off. Yeah. 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 
sorry, I've already got friends. This girl, I worked with this girl, and we got, we like did our little insurance briefing, and <coughs> got insurance, and like, not too long, like, I didn't know what was going on, but not too long after that, she, like, all of a sudden, had like a cancer scare and all this stuff, and was trying to, basically, my lieutenant was savvy to what was going on, and like, made her, like, have extra proof and all this and then all of a sudden she was fine but she yeah. tried to make like she tried to get into initiate like a terminal illness thing she had like the doctor call like was, or her husband like called the, the department like on their phone and said he called on her cell phone and stuff it was really weird and i didn't really get it until after like, I was like, why are they, like, being like that with her? They're like, oh. She's trying to get one over on everybody. <laughs> it's like, it's not the first time. This is happening. The parent, like, that's, like, people get busted all the time for, like, running insurance scams like that. Where they get a terminal illness that they really don't have and just get the, uh, the payments. Oh yeah, like the PPP loans? Dude, everybody in the ghetto was getting PPP loans for like car details, so I have a car detailing business, that was a popular one, because that's like an easy one to like have proof of that you're doing it, but it doesn't take like much proof. This is like, you just like make like a Facebook page and you have a company now. $80,000. Thank you, government. I think I... Th oh, and the, if the company fucking fails, what happens? Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, oh, our entire bankruptcy? army is assembled. Or something like that, and it's like, that the doesn't affect the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer Many be called douchebag. They they're not worried about their new credit kid. or anything. They don't worry about this or that. Their assets. So, $80,000. Thank you. It was something like, it was like 50 to 80 or something. It was a lot. The Carrier Raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <laughs> so, I mean, you can get by two years easy. The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic you have, to you enchant his like three years. I mean, you can Are you ready to continue your training? Then you make haste like to the training years. grounds. If you... If you really budgeted, you know? Probably longer. Yeah. A single, just one person, yeah. Yeah, God. But do they they fucking Yeah, the IRS is uh they're uh, they like hired a ton more there's like a hundred thousand more people or some crazy number like that. They're going after those, uh, they're putting those people in jail and going for those people. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, drugs. Drugs and rims and fucking... Name, uh, just brand... Trying to keep up with the Joneses type peacocking. Yeah, that's, um, I 
I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy. But being able to cover spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! Bye, Tom, See how it works? Buddy. Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Mm -hmm. Cut the magic, throw it at your opponent. Oh, Cardi. Come on, douchebag. You let it slip right through your fingers. Try again. Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Don't waste my time now. Good. Yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cut the magic, throw it at your opponent. Yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson. Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't have to take this, gonna be sweet. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try a new move. I'm good! Now, Douchebag, come and spell! Right, Scott's face. <laughs> All right, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag, and never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice. Make haste to the giggling donkey. You better stock up on some power-ups and post- I'm staying back here to guide the bear. Tom Cardi. That's a pretty good word here. Uh, brought up Hardy instead. Mixed. Perception check, that's what it is. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah! A nice purchase! Good choice! <laughs> there it is, the end of the giggling donkey. Uh, Adam, are well you done. sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, Butters! Oh, sorry, sorry that's Lincoln. what the Carrier Raven says. That's Tony Bard. can guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, yeah, Sir Deuce Let's go inside. 
still let out of the fleet. Stay closer, douchebag. The so inner giggling answer. donkey harbors the scum of Alzaran. Like, can bards kill people by playing? Please. No meat wine today, Or are they all, only like, just, like, distraction? Or, you know, mesmerizing and things like that. Like, is there any offensive? So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? A cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, Douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kitty and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. You think the bard's really down here? <laughs> Can you make them kill themselves or something? What was that for? <laughs> the Atel's trying to bard you. Bard kill you, Steven. <laughs> Casting <laughs> alienate. <laughs> Casting. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus! It's the bar. <laughs> Prepare for battle, weaklings. Fall in! Douchebag! It's a trap! You should have never come here, you humans. I am a level 10 bot, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. Mag magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. Mag magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. Mag Magical songs of enchant. Magical songs of enchant. Magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. No, I've I've come across Jimmy, and he's the bard, and he's going with magical songs of enchant. Maybe magical songs of enchant. And he does it like ten times, and the button to come up, the button to skip just comes up and stays on your screen like come on skip it skip it <laughs> i'm like nope i want to watch this i want to watch this magical songs for change magical songs for change that was such a good game dude such a good one Oh, butters, man. Oh, such a fucking just, awesome character. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I have a nice lance that she set up on. I think he's the knife guy. I think he's the thief. Who? <laughs> Oh, but it's Man, powder. I could be watching TV right powder. now. Okay. Let's go, asshole. That's Cartman. I think Cartman was the. He was the Grand Wizard. Yeah, I did a bunch of fire spells. Stop dicking around. A few years and stuff like that. South Park has a good reputation. Be dead. We'll say like their N64 game was uh, was garbage, but they recognized that. And, like, they, they were trying to make like a double it, so it was so bad. Once with a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She it's didn't talk weird. much, but boy did she swallow. Fight.
Wow, what a butt kicking. You gave it your best shot, and that's all Jesus asked. Yeah, was asked. a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. Get she didn't talk much stuff, or did she swallow? I protect the stick of truth. <laughs> Is Jimmy the bard? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is my songs of a chad, hey, man. My songs of a chad, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> a wind waker? <laughs> Hey Steven, did you apologize to 12? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Okay, I thought y'all made up, yeah. Hey, they're douchebag. I'm this is period. He kept on calling him a bitch. I get it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But... Did he stop calling him a bitch now? Are you done? <laughs> but you did, yeah. I'm gonna do my wall dance now. You did say because. You call him a bitch because he was saying shit. Oh, I wanted to show mercy. If you can't say anything nice, say anything at all. Don't hear the attention, throw it to me. I'll handle this. Ow. Ow, my ankle. I, I think it might be broken. My ankle. I, I think it's twisted. Yo, you guys go ahead. Command, I'm done for. Happy to heal the thief, but I need your command, my lord. Ow. That's how they... Yes, sir. Here's your buddy. Thank you, Noble Paladin. My wound is healed. Can you get us upstairs? I think they locked us out. Is it any other songs? It's Tom Kearney. Nothing a level 12 thief can't take care of. You guys go ahead. Come on, Check let's out get out of YouTube. here. Quit For the elf tank! God damn it! <laughs> Someone help! That and came from that. the kitchen! Die, asshole! We will kill them with compassion! Damn, you get 40 McNuggets for eleven ninety-nine. I'm eating some nuggets Wait, whose turn is it? That's five dollars for 40 nuggets. Delicious. Can't serve me. <laughs> Now, this video, I'm watching a four minute level clear. Yeah, for the final point. So he's a sound engineer or something. Uh, 
This H C H Y C Y B H video. That was fun. Check your butthole. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, asshole. You'll pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> it is looking right. If, you ch if it was up your ass, you'd know where it was. <laughs> Classic dad joke. He's extra funny because he's Australian. So. Skid it, but up, but hold. Skid it, but up. Ah, oh, shit. Your word is the command, my lord. Shall I heal the king, my lord? Or maybe let him suffer just a little bit more? Your word is the command, my lord. I'm not dead. You can't loot me yet. Your word is the command, my lord. Yeah, there's a buddy. <laughs> His powers are too strong. <laughs> Got a killer cat over He's here. He's up man. in one of the rooms. I swear she could murder me. <laughs> they took Princess Keeney. They took her upstairs. I'm sure I they're mean, gonna rape her. Don't I would just have to Keeney. snap her neck. She attacked me like that, man. The so, Wizard uh, King is done for. Take out the new kid while I mm. go upstairs and make contact with the King of Hell. You're not getting Isn't popped up, fucker! They know, like, no to go for the neck. So if they're trying to kill you, they're not gonna go for the neck. We could give this shit a really mean- Use your magic on the front door, you're saying? Wrapping around you like a bobcat around the neck and fucking you up. Like on Red Dead, the way the- Dude, you the your pants. The <laughs> bobcats attack you. It's how they attack in real life. Couldn't get that thing off your back, man. Until it decided to jump off. Without, like, ripping your flesh off your back. What up there? What? What the hell? Be shit. Use your magic on the front door, douchebag! You're going down. Hello? Use your magic on the front door, douchebag! <laughs> That's cheating. Hey, open the door. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get both on the door, you guys! Use your magic on the front door, douchebag! End of the line, fucker. You guys! Hey! For the KKK! Come on, quick! Don't let him get the line! Protect the bar! Dead. Ugh. Serenia! Like, what the Ugh. fuck is oh, this song? Oh, yeah, you will bad stuff will happen. Maybe you live. Jesus Christ! This is a serenia one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 
the fuck? You're not waiting on me, are you? Okay, um... I wasn't paying attention to this stuff here, but... I didn't like it. That was weird. You can't make that not weird. Yeah, this guy. Ah. <laughs> he has two al albums. Twenty <laughs> two songs out. Man, this guy has 1.6 million subscribers. That's crazy. <laughs> I got your back, yo. <laughs> Take that. Take that. <laughs> on social media. I'm like the most self-aware person like ever. <laughs> Is this shit? Okay, he's, you guys he needs get to upstairs. stop painting his nails. So. No hurry, douchebag. The princess is just being raped. A 
know you want to get the most out of this game, but our friend is just getting raped. All right, Moxie truck is is dumb, but funny. <coughs> we gotta get to the princess. I know you want to get the most out of this game, but the princess is being raped. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, listen. They're raping the princess right now. We have to bust in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of Butter's lines. Mm. Like I just beat some guys, beat some guys up, and they they took Princess Kenny, and they're uh, they're gonna go have their way with him, her. Mm. And uh, as I'm looting corpses, Butters goes, I know you want to get the most out of this game, but our friend's being raped. He's keeping a prisoner!
What? That'd just be silly. Princess Kinney, how badly did they rape you? I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe, and I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah, can he do that? He has a stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. Let us up! You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. <laughs> the board must face judgment for his crimes. Well, look at what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, those are some big old biddies. Man, oh man. <laughs> Good job, Princess Gone Wild. Double D buddy powers. Man, I could be watching TV right now. Pokemon.
You've nowhere to run, Bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your d d and fulfill your d d. Step forward now and fulfill your d. Step forward now and fulfill your d d. Your d d. Your d d. Step forward now and fulfill your d d. Your d d. Your d d. Step forward now and fulfill your d d. Your d d. Hmm. Step forward now and fulfill your d d. Your d d. Step forward now and fulfill your day. You did. Step forward now and fulfill your day. You did. You did. Step forward now and fulfill your destiny. You are no match for a grand wizard. The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you. Fine. You want to throw down, bro? Kick his ass, douchebag. Who is douchebag? That's Sir Douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, bard. Wow, what a terrific target. Sleep now, the whippoorwills are dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Hot, 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 hot. Target. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> A pop's on your neck. Swine shagger. Close your eyes, no more thinking about thinking about your troubles. Sleep now with Jesus, for you are blessed. Set him up, knock him down. You want a piece of me? <laughs> Set him up and knock him down. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Everyone's a good pity. The stick is ours! Yay! Ready to leave, sir douchebag? Okay, but hurry up. This inn is no longer safe for our kind. Find his running shoes. Just kidding. Ready to leave, sir douchebag? The stick of truth is back where it belongs. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the Great Battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom, thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. It's late, hon. Your parents will be worried.
Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. It's late, sweetie. Go on up to bed and I'll be there to say goodnight. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. The fuck? It's the first season aliens. I'm having a dream again. Okay, <laughs> dreaming. What's happening? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Nah, it's, the, it's the first season aliens from South Park. Back in the first season, they had this. They had those aliens that abducted Ike and shit. Is this <laughs> your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal yep. with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! Wow, look at that! You must have broke off part of the probe and now you can control it with your sphincter muscles. Pretty cool. I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship. Uh, hello, is this recording? If you're hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity. But I've broken free. I'm so scared and alone. I must find a way off this ship. Oh god, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio lock? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone!
Moo moo. Moo. you are oh yeah yep that's the lambda containment block take that elevator next to you the probe in your asshole should interface with it